Hello, Year One. Welcome to your last lesson of the day, and it is the fantastic subject science. Now you can see behind me our lovely science display from our previous topic, where we looked at everyday materials. Now we're going to move on to a new topic very, very soon, and we're going to be looking at animals, including humans. But before we do that, we always, always look at our seasonal changes. Okay, so we're going to be revisiting that in this lesson. So I'm going to share my screen, and then we're going to get cracking. <clears throat> so in this science lesson our learning intention is to observe and describe weather associated with the seasons now you might have noticed that the weather has changed now i'm currently recording this video at school and the weather outside has changed for me it's got very very dark all of a sudden okay and it is getting darker much earlier that is all linked to the seasons have you noticed anything else Maybe you've noticed that the ground's got a bit crispy some mornings when it's woken up with a bit of frost. It is certainly getting colder. That's all linked to our seasonal changes. So we're going to be looking at that today. <clears throat> now, as a quick starter, I want you to think back to your materials topic, your everyday materials topic, where we did that fantastic experiment to find out what materials were waterproof. Can you remember what else we did? I've got a few challenges here that I want you to choose, and I'd like you just to remember what you learned in your previous topic. So challenge one, can you write down two things on a scrap piece of paper that you can remember? And you can share those with your family at home. Challenge two, maybe you could write down three things for us on a scrap piece of paper, three lovely things that you can remember. And challenge three, can you write five things that you can remember from your everyday materials topic? Now I know that's quite hard because we have had the Christmas break, but try and cast your memories back. Okay, <clears throat> so moving on to our seasonal changes lesson that we're going to be looking at today. I've got some quick revision questions here that we're going to go through. So the first question says, what are the months of the year? So I'm going to give you a little clue. There is the months of the year song. Okay, so have a little think about that song. Can you remember how it goes? I'll start you off, see if you can finish it. January, February, March and April. Hmm. <laughs> These are the months of the year. Did you remember it? Were you able to sing along? If not, don't panic. You can go onto YouTube and you can find the months of the year song on YouTube and you can practice. Remember, get an adult's permission first, though, please. <clears throat> the next quick question is how many seasons are there? Now, that picture gives you a little clue there. How many seasons do you think there are? Okay, hopefully you're all saying at your screen right now, four, there are four seasons. Okay, can you name all four of those seasons? Hopefully you can. I know that in both of your classrooms, there is a seasonal changes display and all four of those seasons are listed. Well, let's have a look at these lovely pictures. Okay, I think we all know what this one is. It's got a snowy scene. What one do you think that is? That's winter, absolutely. And that's where we are now. Okay, working backwards then, this one where all the leaves kind of go beautiful and orangey. What's that? Autumn, absolutely right. Then before autumn, we've got summer. <clears throat> and then we've got our lovely spring. Okay, so we've got spring, summer, autumn, winter. Those are the four seasons. Now, I've already answered this question, haven't I? What season are we in now? Well, I've told you it's getting dark earlier. The days are getting shorter. I've told you there's a bit frosty. And you may have seen on the weather reports that there is maybe some snow that could be coming our way. Okay, so that gives you a massive clue. I think you're absolutely right. We are in winter at the moment. And we've just talked about how the weather has changed. So here is our lovely seasons wheel. Okay, and we've looked at this in class before, and you can kind of see the months go all the way around the outside and the seasons are also all the way on the outside now it is a cycle so it will just continue repeating itself now what month are we in now it's a new year so it goes back to the start of our month song it's january can you find january on that picture let's have a good look there it is so january is slap bang in the middle of winter okay so it is a wintry month at the moment and you can see some of the weather that you can see around our wheel that is associated with those lovely months. <clears throat> okay, so now we are in the spring 
term, but it's not the spring yet, is it? It's January, which is in the winter. We don't have a winter term at school. We've got an autumn term, a spring term, and a summer term. Okay, let's move on to see what I'd like you to do today. So today, what I'd love for you to do is I'd love for you to pretend to be a news presenter, and I'd love for you to pretend to be a weather reporter. Okay, you may have seen on the news the weather. You may have seen a weather report, but what does it do? What information does it provide us with? Well, a, a weather report tells us what the weather's going to be like for that day or for that week. So the question here says, have you ever seen the news? Hopefully lots of you are saying, yes, I have seen the news because it's a really good way of getting useful information. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to watch a weather report with a parent and see what that weather report shows you. What do they talk about? <clears throat> okay, I'm going to show you a little weather report now. <clears throat> Okay, so here is the BBC Weather um, website. And on this website, it tells me it's Tuesday the 5th, and it tells me that today, and we can see a little weather symbol here. What do you think that symbol means? It's got kind of a dark cloud, and it's got a little bit of sun poking out and a bit of rain. What do you think that tells me? I think you're right. I think it tells us that it might be rainy today, it might be a little bit sunny, but it's also going to be cloudy. And as you can see, this is the time at the top. So this is six in the morning. Okay. And as we work our way through the day, you can see what happens to the weather. You can see the temperature starts off really, really low. One degrees. One degrees. That's very, very cold. And then it starts to creep up a little bit. Doesn't get very hot, though, does it? Three degrees. That's still very, very cold. So wrap up warm. <clears throat> And then you can see what happens to the weather. It's mostly cloudy though today, isn't it? A little bit of rain maybe, but mostly cloudy. You can see what happens for the rest of the week. And maybe you could go on the BBC Weather website and you can have a look with the adult that you are with. <clears throat> and if you scroll down, you'll be able to see Aylesbury. That's where we currently are. And you can watch by pressing play what happens to the weather that is above us, the rain. Okay. And you can see the weather patterns coming in. Okay, so maybe you can go on the website and have a little look at that. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go back to our lovely lesson. So, remember what I said I'd like you to do. I would like you to watch a weather report. You can get that on YouTube, you can go on the BBC website like I just did, and you can have a little play and have a little look. And what I would like you to do is then I'd like you to think about what the weather is like today. Have a look at these symbols, and then have a look outside the window. You might be in your kitchen, you might be in your living room, you might be in your bedroom. Have a little look outside at what the weather is like today. Which one of these symbols do you think is closest to what the weather's like today? And what was the weather like earlier on this morning before school started? Now we're in the afternoon, but what was it like this morning? And what do you think the weather will be like after school? Have a look at those symbols, make a prediction. So your task today is I would love for you to become a weather reporter. And I'd like you to make a video like I'm making now of you talking to the camera, pretending to be a weather reporter. Here are some key phrases that you could use. Hello, everyone. Today's weather report comes from Aylesbury. As you can see, the weather today is, you could tell us about the weather. Is it hot? Is it cold? Is it rainy? What should people be wearing? Should they take an umbrella with them? This morning, the weather was, the wind is, is it strong? Think back to our compass points. What, what direction is it coming from? The sun is. Is the sun creeping up? Is it not out at all? After school, the weather should be. What do you think it will be? If you're out on the playground today, don't forget to. Maybe you're telling them to wrap up warm. And then remember, they always end with thank you for listening. <clears throat> so your challenge today is to become a presenter. Can you record yourself being a weather presenter and send it in to the year one team using the Elm class email or the beach Plus email. We would love to see you pretending to be weather reporters. That would be really fantastic. I hope you enjoyed that science lesson. Can't wait to introduce our new topic, animals including humans, to you. Well done on completing your first day of virtual home learning, children, and we will see you bright and breezy tomorrow. Thank you very much.